something that is so different than what we've ever done. And I think that when we've been, you know, been around for 20 years, so they're gonna get kind of a brief, a little bit of a more intimate look into who we are. I think it's very important that we connect with people at the concerts here because uh, that's what's important to us on the road. And so that's, that's the thing, that's the through line is like, we're a band, we're just a bunch of guys playing music. Maroon 5 will be in Vegas through August. Tickets are on sale now. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. South Texas is unique in so many ways. One of those includes our ecosystem. Yes, it does. And NBC 23's Danielle Banda in studio to tell us about how unique it really is. Danielle? In so many ways, you guys. Yeah, it's not only our natural environment that draws in tourists from across the state, but our unique animal species that really makes for awe-inspiring beauty. And I'm here to share how you can literally capture the moment anytime you witness these creatures in the Rio Grande Valley. Now, we've got ocelots that are native to our region, of course, plus tortoise families, jackrabbits, javelinas, horned lizards, and plenty of green jays to go around. We've also got lots of little critters making a home for themselves in the thick, brushy country areas of the 95 six and that includes a white tailed deer in mule deer. In fact, there are almost over 3 million of them in Texas alone, according to the Texas Almanac. Now we've also got wildlife hanging out in our dense desert areas, uh, our chaparral and mesquite, cacti, of course, within different areas of our local wildlife refuges too. But that's not all. We're also talking about beautiful Atlantic spotted uh, dolphins over in the Gulf of Mexico region, uh, as well as ferrets, foxes, and even our adopted 956 mascot of sorts, the possum. <laughs> and since we have so much to appreciate when it comes to RGB wildlife, many Valley residents will be so excited to attend the South Texas Birds and Wildlife Photography Workshop. Now it's basically four days of taking photos of iconic local species and natural environment, uh, including ranches, nature parks, and of course wildlife marker and conservation sites. Now it's all happening this Friday at 7 in the evening and the meetup location is going to be over at the McAllen International Airport. See, the groups are going to be led by professional photographers who specialize in photo taking of local hotspots like the Martin Refuge, the National Butterfly Center, the Laguna Seca Ranch, the SPI Birding and Nature Center, Alligator Sanctuary, plus a whole lot more like Sea Turtle Inc. <laughs> now the great thing is the event is not only going to include the workshops, but you're also going to have snacks and orientation, and special accommodations like transportation, meals, and guided entrances uh, to different SPI sites. And there's even going to be different goals to keep in mind for every single day. Like a goal maybe to capture the rare Harris's hawk, the salt marsh in the flats, and even a look at the beaver pond. So definitely a unique experience to take part in. And if you uh, would like to register for, for it, you can visit the website there on your screen. Uh, it should be a lot of fun for sure. You guys, actually, every day on my drive into work, I see deer on the side of the road, and I always get so scared that I'm going to hit one. But, oh, I, you know, no. it's just, I, I love seeing them. They're beautiful, <laughs> and we have a lot of animals here in the valley. Definitely like be careful. An interesting story about the ocelots. They're so unique to the valley. When UTPA and UTB yeah. merged, uh, that was a big consideration to actually be UTRGB ocelots. And the, it ended up being that they're the vaqueros, but that was one of the choices that was a possibility. Wow. So, Interesting one. Because it was so unique to the valley. Yeah, that <coughs> should have been the ocelots. <laughs> the ocelots. Yeah. I agree. What's going on? Well, <laughs> I think this is the opportunity to put our selfie skills to the test, but this time we're turning the camera around so we can <laughs> capture all the wildlife here in the valley. Mm. Yeah. And we have so many different species <laughs> of... <laughs> yeah. well, we're like wild, it. but they're wilder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Stay with us.